Mayor Steele and Knights cheerleaders, and you're watching big game coverage on KSAT 12. Packed house at Leno Stadium tonight to watch the Steel Knights put their number one ranking and undefeated record on the line tonight against Fort Bend Christian Academy from Sugarland. Steel up 7 nothing when we arrive. Knights at the 50 yard line. They hand it to Jaden Bailey and look at him go to work. He starts up the middle, bounces to the outside, and he's running right at you. Leaps over defending and races in for the 14 nothing score. The Steel defense putting points on the board. Alvin Williamson steps in front of the pass for the 22 yard pick six, 21 to nothing Steel. But the scoring isn't over. First and goal for Steel, and they turn to Bailey again turns in another touchdown this time from four yards out 28 to nothing steal at the half of the final from Linoff 48 to 7 steal it felt great um, I think that there's stuff that we need to prove on first and foremost and we're going to go back uh, on Saturday and we're going to do film look at what we need to do across the board to get ready for district play all right, the Judson Rockets hosting Midland Legacy, the same team that took on Steele to overtime last weekend. Quarterback Elijah Favela hits DeMorian McGarity over the middle. He cuts it upfield, and he's off and running. But the Midland Legacy defense also has speed. McGarity gets chased down, but not before picking up 62 yards. Get down to the 22-yard line. A few plays later, Favela finds Nathan Nathaniel Stanley, and he races into the corner of the end zone and gets there before being knocked down. The 10-yard score makes it 7 nothing. Let's see if that has gone final. Not yet. Still in the 453-34 judge. And Reagan cheerleaders are some future cheerleaders reading on the Rattlers. Reagan up 14 to nothing in second, adding to that. Rattlers inside the red zone. Quarterback Caleb Capuccio fires it to Carnell Weatherspoon. Hot route to move Reagan to the 11 yard line. They cap off that drive right here with a three yard TD from Carson Green. Make it 21 to nothing. Reagan, the final from Comalander, 34 to 7. Reagan. Here come the Roosevelt Rough Riders to the second half of their game against number six Johnson at Hero Stadium. Mid third quarter. Jaguars up 35 21, adding to that lead. Quarterback Ty Hawkins keeps it himself, heading toward the near sideline. Cuts back, breaks a tackle, bursts into the clear for a 45-yard touchdown. Johnson goes up 42-21. Now let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final and more. 63-35, Johnson with a big win. Reagan holds off Marshall 34-7. Elsewhere, Steele with a big win. And also Midland Legacy losing to Judson, but that is in the fourth still, 53-34. The Taft Raiders went up against O'Connor tonight at Ferris Dam. Already lead 3 to nothing. Looking to add to that in the second quarter, running back T.J. Andrews takes a handoff, plows through the line, running over one defender, then sprints to the end zone. 30-yard score to make it 10-0. The final from Ferris, 24-6 Taft. The Stevens Falcons up 27-0. When we arrive in the third quarter, Gustafson Stadium against the Jay Mustangs. If the Mustangs don't give up, Malachi Graham takes a handoff. He's able to get to the corner, cuts it up field. He's racing down the sideline. No one's going to catch him. He's gone 65 yards for the touchdown. They missed the extra point, 27-6. That has gone final now from Gus, 33-13. Stevens, eagle pass wing. Coach is trying to drop something in that fourth quarter, down 28-7 Southwest in Dragon Stadium. The Wind Mavericks keep it up the fight here. On the fourth down here, Abiel Cardona losses in the end zone for Fernando Vasquez, who makes the grab, is able to get both feet down before going out of bounds. It wasn't enough. The Dragons take this one 28-13. Burbank Bulldogs visiting Alamo Heights to face the Mules tonight. First quarter, the Mules on the Bulldogs 27-yard line. Quarterback Conley McKenna drops back, goes deep to Rhett Anderson, who makes a great grab over his shoulder for the touchdown. 7-0 Mules back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final and more. Heights with a big shutout, 62 to nothing. Southwest over Eagle Pass win, 28-13. Elsewhere is Taft on top of O'Connor, 24-6. Six and Stevens on Jay, 33-13. Addison Bears mascot cheering up on the sideline because their Bears are up 17-6 in the second against Sam Houston. But the hurricane storm back in the, before the half. Two seconds left. Sam Houston with the reverse. Tristan White comes around the corner, lowers his shoulder, dives in for the score to cut that Edison lead down to four. 17-13, the final from SAISE. 26-24, Sam Houston. The Lanier Volks with the District 14-5A Division II shutdown with the McCullum Cowboys tonight. Harlandale Memorial Stadium. The Cowboys are up 7-3 in the third. Volks with the ball, fourth and seven. The McCullum 25 and they're going forward. It's Santiago Gallegos rolling out. Finds Marquise Dixon on the sideline. The 10-yard game, fourth and 10 from the 15. They go for it again. This time, Gallegos finds Damian Graciano for the touchdown. They miss the extra point, but they take a 9-7 lead. The final, McCollum wins it 14-9. At Edgewood Veterans Stadium, Memorial taking on floors. Oh, Tigers up 28-19, the fourth quarter facing third and seven in the red zone. Keegan Lafferty rolls out, finds Harris roars in the back of the end zone for the nine-yard TD. Extra point is good to make it 35-19 Tigers. Final from Edgewood Veterans 49-19 Floresville. Young Men's Leadership Academy hosting foul furious tonight. The line's up 10-6 in the four. Going for more. Quarterback Aiden Delgado standing tall in the pocket. Finds a wide open Andrew Carasales who takes a big hit in the end zone but holds on to the ball for the 19-yard score to make it 17-7 YMLA. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard for the final in that game. And it's 24-6 YMLA. Floresville over Memorial 49-19. Sam Houston edges out Edison 26-24. McCullum over Lanier 14-9. The Bernie Greyhounds now number one in 12 top 
Southwell Sub 5A poll hosting Salado tonight. We're in the first quarter. The Greyhounds call for the wide receiver screen. Quarterback Jackson Bays is able to find Caleb Cloutier. He's able to get in the end zone for the first touchdown of the night. The final, Bernie, 41 to 7. Randolph Rohawks are ranked seventh in 12's top 12 sub 5 day bowl, putting up their undefeated record on the line tonight against Marion. The Rohawks start on the ground. The handoff goes to Austin Young on the sweep. He's able to go outside, down the sideline. Looks like he's going to go all the way, but he gets chased down, brought down to the 15 a few plays later. It's a direct snap to Colton Howard, who follows the blockers in for the four yard score. 7 0 Randolph final from Rohawk, 27 13 Randolph. South Sand faculty joining the dance team out on the field for a little halftime entertainment. Bobcats clinging to a two-point lead in the fourth. The handoff goes to Joseph Salinas. He cuts to the outside, then darts back inside, finds a little daylight, is off to the races. 74 yards to the house, 34-25 Bobcats. Canyon Lake paying a visit to East Central tonight to find out if the hive is alive. Hornets up 3-0, but the Hawks strike back. Quarterback Hunter Anderson rolls out. He's at downfield for Elijah Johnson for the 15-yard gain. A little later, they hand it to Johnson. He powers his way in from 11 yards out. They Go for two, but they don't convert. 6-3 Canyon Lake. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard to see if that game has gone final as well. It has. Canyon Lake with a victory over East Central, 20-10. It was South Sand over Laredo Martin, 34-25. Birdie, big final over Salado, 41-7. And Randolph over Marion, 27-13. We're just getting started. Up next, our big game coverage road trip, fan cam, and more eyes and more scores. But first, let's listen to the Southwest Dragons marching band.